Aldo Leopold once said, there are those who can live without wild things and those who cannot. I am one who cannot. My dad taught me at a young age to love nature, to eagerly seek out all creatures great and small. I learned early on the beauty of the ordinary, of the things we often overlook. I grew up getting as equally excited about a bumblebee as I would a bird. I looked on as eagerly when my dad showed me where a deer was hiding as when he showed me how to tell where it had slept the night before. My dad taught me to live in the small moments, in the ordinary moments. He taught me to find joy in the simple, the unextraordinary. From falcons to fungi, beauty is wherever you choose to see it. Ultimately, my dad taught me that we are connected to nature and we will always be drawn to it, to its peace, to its acceptance, to its ability to hold memories. And that's why I can't live without wild things. They are the only connection I have left to my dad. I lost my dad a week before I started my senior year of high school. My protector, my hero, my best friend was gone. Suddenly, the woods where we had shared so many memories felt cold and empty. It hurt to see the trails we used to walk together. The memories of him were everywhere. But he wasn't there. And it was just me, alone. But we are never truly alone. A lesson my dad had taught me one quiet evening while sitting in a deer stand. I had complained that there were no animals in the whole forest. My dad had told me I couldn't even count how many animals were out there, even on such a still and quiet evening. He told me that life is everywhere, under rocks and high in trees. Eventually, months after losing him, I remembered that lesson. On one day, I felt strong enough, brave enough, to start turning over the rocks and staring up into the trees again. And when I did, I saw the life he was talking about. I saw the life we had shared, and it was beautiful, and it was comforting. Even though he was gone, in nature I finally realized my dad was still with me. My dad was everywhere. He was in the trees watching over me. He was laughing in the babbling brook. He was whispering to the wind how proud he was of me. My dad was, and is, everywhere I look. No matter how remote or how desolate the place I'm in, I know I'm never alone. I know my dad is still and always by my side.